by Kathy Perry and production assistant Evelyn Chow. Having a wonderful time was produced and directed at Studio G in Toronto by series executive producer William Lane. I'm Barbara Budd. Good night. There's, there's actually quite a bit bit more. There's about three or four minutes, but I think it's just noise and back announcements and so forth. Well, what a story. I think we could do something similar during the next Phonicon or whatever it's called. It came from Planet X. Some some kind of event that, that involved the whole Phoenix building. Th this is Phonic FM 106.8, and it, we're in the basement of the Phoenix in Exeter. And um, when News from the Sun was was uh, the th sort of theme of the Phonicon or connected to the Phonicon, there were images in the in the galleries, and I'd I'd like to find some some images that fitted the idea of having a wonderful time. There may be ones that exist already, or maybe some new ones could come along. I think there should be some something uh, in the upstairs area of the of this building, and. Um, then I think the basement could have the same effect as, as a sort of holiday, as a sort of uh, Mediterranean island. It's not quite the same. I mean, it is a basement. I do, I do realise that. But I'm sure it could be promoted as a, as a recreational or creative space for, uh, well, radio or sound, um, uh, print, print making, uh, short run books, sound recording, um, re rehearsal space for music. All these sorts of things could be, could be promoted, and people who'd come to the Phonicon would gradually go down into the basement and not return. And what would be interesting is is how long it would take for the people upstairs to become concerned about this, or or maybe they would just carry on. They'd probably go into the the Phoenix Bar and they'd be um, well. They might, no, they'd become concerned eventually. But the, the people who had gone into the basement may be allowed to escape if they signed a non-disclosure agreement as to how they how they got out of this basement. And uh, then uh, later on, they could be they could be sent on a tour of Exeter to various creative spaces, maybe the the Globe in Newtown or the uh, the Bike Shed. And um, I'm sure eventually they would they would. Uh, decide to ignore the non-disclosure agreement and go back and meet the people who are presumably still in still in the phoenix bar so anyway I th I, that's that's the outline of, of a sort of situation roughly related to to this story for a future occasion or maybe somewhere else and um, may, maybe over the summer we, we could develop these ideas into bits of script or uh, sound or little little short video recordings and when the storyteller returns, he will he might do uh, some linking linking copy. That's that's that's. I have mentioned this to him, and he doesn't think that's impossible. He thinks he possibly could redo this story to take in whatever else had turned up. Anyway, that's 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 maybe enough for this week. I I shall um, look forward to some feedback. Will seven eight nine GB on Twitter. Um, I'm not going to do the phone calls because I'm only here by myself and um, I can only cope with, with so much.